How is it possible that you swing so hard, the ball just floats up in the air, doesn't get very much distance with your irons, and then you see somebody else. It looks like they're not swinging at all. The ball makes this totally different sound when it hits the club face. It explodes off there. It sounds deeper, like almost like a cannon shot went off, and the ball goes 20 or 30 yards farther with the exact same iron. How is that possible? It doesn't seem right. This person isn't any more athletic than you are. They're not more gifted or talented than you are. It really just comes down to the hard science of this. If we can learn the proper way that the pros are compressing their irons, we can do the same thing in our own game. So let me cut to the chase here and talk about the really key points with this. The main thing that the pros are doing when they're hitting this iron shot is instead of adding loft to the club, and what happens when you add loft, so let's imagine this club straight up and down. If I have this club leaning back, I'm adding loft to the face. Now the face is pointing more up in the air. And no matter how hard I swing, when I hit this ball, it's gliding up the face and kind of floating in. What we need to feel like we're doing is taking all the loft off this club face so the, the face is covering over top of the golf ball. Now that's not really happening. That's the feeling that you're gonna wanna have happening though. You're also gonna wanna feel like the toe rolls around the outside of the golf ball. So if this is the club face, it rolls on top of the face, top of the ball, and comes around to the outside to hit this low penetrating draw shot. And that's exactly what I'm gonna walk over in this video. So we really wanna feel like covering the golf ball, people call it that. Some people call it a trap. Some people call it different things, but the result is the same. Really penetrating hard hit golf shots. So let's start out with a great drill to do this. Number one, if we're flipping at the golf ball and adding loft to this, so now my loft is opening up instead of taking that down. One of the most important drills you can do is a little half back swing, full follow through back, or full follow through shot. So what I'm doing here, I'm making a little half back swing. I'm really feeling like my legs get loaded up into the ground and then I'm gonna accelerate coming all the way on through as hard as I can through that golf ball. Again, what that's gonna do is as I'm accelerating through, it's gonna make it easier for me to get forward shaft lean on this, on this club. So if I do one of these shots here, I'm gonna hit toward that target in the distance. There we go, nice low shot. Again, I really felt I accelerated through that. Even though it's a little half swing, that's going a long way for a seven iron. Now, the second piece of that, sometimes when players do that shot, what they'll find themselves doing is they'll lean the shaft forward, but the face will be open. I want you to feel like you take those hands and arms and close that club face down. Look how my left wrist is bowing. Look how my right hand is coming on top. That's what people call covering the golf ball. And I want you to feel like, again, if you're hitting this golf ball, instead of your face being square, it feels like it wraps around the outside of the golf ball. So I'm coming around, covering over top of the outside. As I swing out to the right when I'm doing that, that's gonna result in that low draw type shot. There we go, you can really hear that one. Just really compress on the club face. So again, I'm making a little half back swing, really accelerating through. And if I do that correctly, that I'm hitting kind of a low draw shot. So really be active with your lower body. Really try to get that ball to super, super draw. There we go, we hear that one. I couldn't hit one much better than that. And again, that's a seven iron with a little half back swing. I'm actually pretty far away. I'm almost 200 yards away, but I'm barely short of the green because I'm really accelerating through and compressing this golf shot. Now, one of the other pieces we wanna feel like with this to really compress this golf ball is we wanna make sure that the logo of our left glove kind of stays toward the ground. So if I have my logo of my left glove here pointing forward, if I let my hands flip, now the logo is starting to point up toward the sky. I wanna feel like from here when I turn the club down, my logo is now facing down a little bit more. I wanna roll that hand to feel like that club's coming again to the outside of the golf ball here. So my face is really turning over to the outside. So turn that logo down and when we're releasing this, let your hand release, but feel like the logo is down toward the ground, right? So I'm really having a lot of forward shaft lean. If I did this in reality, it would be the lowest, hardest hit snap hook you've ever seen. I mean, that ball would really turn over, but I want you to exaggerate that for the short term. Go ahead and overdraw that ball a little bit. We can always tone back from there. There we go, really low shot. Those aren't going more than 20 or 30 feet off the ground with a seven iron. That one actually got to the green. So those are really helping me to get all the energy from the golf ball into the club. Now the final piece with this, we talked about how to de-loft the club. We talked about how to roll the face. We talked about how to release with the left hand. 
how to make a shorter backswing and really accelerate on through that way we're getting the speed at the golf ball. Now let's just take it to a full size swing. Exact same thing's gonna happen. I'm gonna make my full backswing really getting loaded up. And then as I come closer to contact, then I feel like I'm really gonna hammer on with the speed and then a full follow through. So on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get one to the green from here, which would be a pretty daggone long seven iron for myself. All right, killed that one. Let's see if it gets all the way there. Yep, that one landed right in the middle of the green. Hit that one great. So put those pieces together, start slow, start with smaller swings, and then build up the speed from there. You're gonna compress the heck out of the golf ball. Now we still have a problem with this. It's one thing to say, okay, I want you to really cover down on top of this golf ball, get a lot of forward shaft lean and do, you know, really compress the golf ball. But the problem is if we start our swing down steep, so this club shaft comes in very steep, it makes it almost impossible to do that without really chopping down in the ground, taking big divots and struggling a little bit with contact. What we wanna do is we wanna shallow out this club. So as my club starts to shallow out in the transition, just like the pros are doing, now I'm coming down from the slot and I can really feel like I turn on from there, accelerate the golf club, deal off the club, release the face, and I'm not gonna chop way down into it. And that's exactly what we go over in what we call the move in the Top Speed Golf system. I'm gonna play a preview of one of the best move drills. It's called the tennis racket drill. We're talking about how we can square that face up coming from the inside that way, and that's really, really gonna help. I'll play a preview of that here in a second. Just click the card or your link below in the description. That'll give you instant access to it. Let's go ahead and get started with the move. Player problems, we're gonna talk about shallowing that club shaft out as we're starting down, as we're doing this rotating of the face that we worked, about, worked on in the last video. As we start this downswing, what you'll see with, with basically all uh, of the, the top players is instead of coming kind of over the top and letting the hands come out away from their body, letting the club come out away from their body, again, coming down steep into the ball and then having to open up kind of fillet open the face and add loft to it, the flattening of the shaft should happen as soon as we start down. So as we start this downswing, what we want to have happening here, you can imagine that if I draw a line from the hosel of my club up through my right elbow, that's my swing plane line, my elbow plane. As I go to the top of the swing, I'm going to be slightly above that. And then as I start down, I want my hands to start to shallow out. I want the club to shallow out inside of this elbow plane. And at the same time,